Okay, I'm going to just start um, going through a few of the things that we've done in the um, class over the last few weeks. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new geo database to um, store all the data that I'm going to be working on and creating. Um, and this is what you would do for your assignments. Um, I'm inside my GIS folder. Um, I'm just going to go to new and I'm going to create a personal geo database. So I'm just going to um, call it something useful. Um, call it anything you like. Actually, I'm going to change that. Nature reserves. Nature reserves. Okay, um, so I've done that now. Um, I'm going to load up some um, of my ordnance survey maps. Um, and I'm actually going to do that at the top here. I'm going to go up here, add data. Because there's lots to load at the same time, I'm going to go into my OS data. I'm going to select all these and add them. Um, and then normally when you first do this, it does ask you to um, create these pyramids, which basically helps to speed up the data uh, viewing inside the software. So you do want to let the software do that. And if you click down here, use my choice, it will not keep asking you to do this. Um, so, and again, no spatial reference known, which is, again, we know that. So I'm just going to accept that and go OK. Um, I need to load up the other set as well. So back up again, and I need to navigate back up the tree. And if you just look, you can go back up, and then I go into this one, I think. And I'm going to load up all these. Uh, oh. So I'm just dragging across and selecting them all and adding them. And the computer has is building the pyramids now, and it should then load up the maps. There we go. So there we go. Right, so you can see we've got quite a lot of maps here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group those together. So I'm going to shift click at the top. Um, and then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to um, group. And I'm going to rename that group. So this is OS 10K. And then I'm going to collapse it which means I can now switch the whole lot on and off in one go. So there we go, that's good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a vector file. So this is going to be inside the Geo database so that I can start to do some digitization. So I'm going to go to, so anyway, just let me go through that again. First thing I'm going to do is right click on the actual Geo database that I want to create the file inside. I'm going to go to new and I'm going to go to what we call a feature class. Again, if you hover over it, it gives you some information about what a feature class is. So there we go. Um, and this is basically the um, file that's going to be, is where the vector data is going to be saved. So um, this is going to be called boundaries, reserve boundaries is what I'm doing. So just reserve boundaries. Um, again, um, the alias I can put a more friendly name so I don't have to use the underscore. No, uh, that didn't work, did it? Okay, reserve bound rees. Uh, again, here I get the choice of what type of feature. So again, line, point, or polygon. Those are the main three. Um, I'm drawing the boundary, so I want to do a polygon. Uh, I'm not going to touch any of this stuff here. Um, I need to set the national grid which is the coordinate system and because I've favorited it previously it's right at the top there so I select that um, the XY tolerance I just leave as the default so I don't touch that at all and now I get the option here to add some new columns in my attribute table um, and they're called fields so I'm going to create one for the name of the reserve which is where I will add the reserve name so I'm going to just call that name um, and then I'm going to choose text as the type of information. Uh, normally in this drop down, we're probably n more often than not using a text or a number field. So, and okay, I'm going to just make sure this is the length, the number of characters. I'm going to just add, make that slightly longer. Um, and I'm going to click finish. And by default, um, the reserve or that new layer, I've just created that new piece of empty file at the moment, 
um, has been added to the layers over here in my table of contents and if I look inside the geo database there it is inside there I've actually misspelt it so I can just go back and, and edit that if I want to but I'm not going to worry now so I want to start actually doing some digitizing so I need to zoom into an area let's have a look just going to digitize a boundary so here we go so it's just this area here that I want to digitize in fact no it's that one there okay right so the first thing I need to do is I need to bring up the edit menu which you may or may not have switched on um, first thing to do, so if I right click anywhere in a grey area up here um, where the toolbars are in an empty blank area I can go and I bring up this menu of options so I go down to editor and switch that on so this is for editing vector data um, now if I want to start editing I have to tell the computer or at least tell the software that I want to start editing a layer so a couple of ways of doing that, I can either go up here and go start editing or I can go to the layer itself right click on the layer itself and go down to data I believe no no it's not data it is edit feature and then start editing so I'm going to click that and now again this may or may not happen depending on how your system's been set up um, and if it doesn't if yours looks like this um, you need to go up to this um, menu because these have all now suddenly become available and just go to the option at the end which is called create feature and you'll notice you've got the list of layers and of course we've only got one vector layer loaded so that's the only one that is displayed so now I need to select it and now you'll notice down the bottom here that this construction tool has now uh, you know these these have been populated um, if I deselect No, it won't let me deselect. Fine. Right, anyway, so I select up here and then I get the construction tool option. And normally we're drawing polygons, so I'm going to simply select the polygon tool. And now I notice I've got a crosshair, so I can just simply trace around the boundary. I'm not going to worry too much because this is just for demo purposes. So you get the idea. So you want to be a bit more careful with the way you do it. Um, when I finish the polygon, double click and then that will be finished. Um, and you notice that it's got this little translucent line around it, um, which means it's still selected. So when we draw another polygon, that this one will become deselected. And when we finish the second one, that will be selected. Um, just to make sure it has drawn it, we can have a quick look inside the table. Um, so there we go, um, and then we've got the option to actually put the name of the um, the reserve in. So I'm just going to go in here and write the name of the reserve inside there, like so. Um, so once we've finished doing our editing and creation of data, um, we simply go up to editor and go stop editing, and it will ask us if we want to save the edits, and of course we do. If we do not save the edits, all of this work of drawing these shapes will be lost, so we need to be careful um, that we do say yes. So that means those are now committed to the file and are saved. So this means we can load up. I'm just going to remove this and show you what I mean. So I can load that back in again now from the catalog from inside my geo database. Um, and of course, the information that I've done um, that I've created is now saved inside that file. So that's just the very basic introduction to um, creating a geo database and also creating a feature class um, file and then actually doing some digitizing inside that file in ArcMap.